arriving shortly. Just a few ribs and sweet and sour chicken Hong Kong style. Oh, I used to love steak Cantonese, Gordon Robertson. Now are we talking? Uh, Aberdeen, sorry. Ah, Aberdeen, Aberdeen are playing. When I felt like when I was uh, up in Aberdeen, uh, I worked with the Grampian, the Grampian television, and uh, uh, I remember we uh, went out to do some big function one day, in day, in day, and there was um, some of the Aberdeen players and their manager, Sir Alex Ferguson. There you go, in the days when Fergie managed Aberdeen. Uh, Scotty, my way to Carlisle tomorrow for a wee weekend again. No, Kareem, fantastic. Are we allowed to go? But that's good. Carlisle is very good for you. Uh, got the rest of the week and next week off school. Going to try and take it easy. J-Dog, you must take it easy. Although you are young and fit, you've just had an operation. So you need to give your body a wee chance to recover. Okay, okay. There we are. Yes, 100% agree, Scotty. Better on here than any football game. The wonderful Frank McElroy. Dinky-doo, Frank. Lovely to have you with us. Frank agrees with me that McClue is the big draw. Fantastic. Dinky-doo, says the wonderful Finley Morris. Finley, lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo, I say. It was my 27th birthday on Monday. Finley. Yes, you, you, you strike me as even more mature than that. Very sensible lad. Yes, well done. Happy birthday, even albeit belated. Happy birthday, Finlay's is Tam. Professor Numptyheed says, my ex-girlfriend once had a one-night stand with a Dundee Angus. <laughs> what nonsense are you talking about? I must tell you, uh, Professor Numptyheed, I don't know if you've seen in one of the television bloopers, the outtakes, it's an Australian channel and the guy's reading the news and he said that these two cows had escaped from a field and they were known as Black and Gus and uh, people were to look out for Black and Gus and his friend was sitting beside him and he said, excuse me here. I think you'll probably find that's Black Angus. So there we are, Black Angus cows. Scott McClure Football Club, 4-0. Yo, McClure. Uh, can I have a silent round of applause? Finley Morris, you certainly can. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And also, because it's your 27th, uh, and we'll not be getting that again, we'll have three silent cheers. Are we ready? Hey, there we are. Fantastic. So absolutely, just do it. Absolutely, Tam, just do it. I always say, do we remember what the movie was, Tam? Can we remember? I ask you. Uh, what I might do is polish the old Sky Pop, guys. It won't work tonight because it's got knee battery. But um, we'll polish the old Sky Pop and maybe start taking the calls, I think as the winter comes in, because everybody wants to talk. See now, if the public service broadcaster had a wee switched on moment, this is the time for the Scotty McClue phone in. When people are feeling stuck, isolated, they've got challenges, problems, they want to talk. So a very switched on radio station. I would have said the public service broadcaster would have been perfect. So you have Scotty McClue popping up on national radio, nighttime, or 10 till midnight, something like that, and we talk to the nation. You know, but I don't know, they're very slow. If anybody's got any contacts with big broadcasters, say, why do you not put Scotty in? And they'll pull a face, they'll go. They'll do all sorts of excuses as to why they think they can't. Ignore all that nonsense. None of it has any value. There is absolutely 100% no reason why they could not take Scotty McClure. So don't listen to that. And remember, with a public service broadcaster, you pay the piper. Yes, what about that? 